Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So the message that has been on my mind that I've been reading um, about, I've been reading in Luke, but reading really about not, not to worry. Do not worry. So if you look in um, Luke chapter 13 verses 22 and 23, it says, then Jesus said to the disciples, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about what or about your bodies, what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body is more than clothes. Um, I really like that scripture. It was very encouraging to me. And if you read it, read down a little bit, it talks about the birds, you know, they have food to eat. God provides food for the birds how more how more valuable are the birds than we are you know um and one of that thing that stood out to me too in that scripture is that you know don't worry about your body what your clothes like um about what you will wear right and like one of the things that I was thinking about that it's really easy to get caught up in our flesh it's really easy to get caught up in what people think about us and what they, uh if they're going to judge us and things like that or having to wear certain brands or whatever to feel a type of status or feel um good about ourselves but if we take our minds and we put it on the holy spirit we put it on god those brands don't matter like our brand the only brand that we need to be wearing is jesus right and not to feel like you don't measure up or you're not um, like, you know, basing your worth on what your appearance looks like, right? But that doesn't mean that we're not supposed to take care of our bodies, right? That is one thing that God is walking me through right now to be physically strong, right? To do his plan and his purpose. Um, but to not worry about what the world thinks about me, but it be focused on God. But I think, um, you know, not worrying about our bodies is not like worrying about like the superficial things, but we do have to take care of our bodies, right? Eating healthy and all of these things. And God has really been showing me, but, um, you know, it's like one of those things, if we're worrying about, oh, is this my paycheck going to be enough? Oh, am I going to be enough to pay all my bills? Like, you know, worrying about those things, then like we, we're not trusting in God when we do that, right? But surrendering, knowing God, I give my first fruits to you. I give 10% to you. I trust in you. I am faithful to you because I know that you'll provide. And, you know, I, I've lived in a, a point in my life where like, I literally had nothing, but I always ended up finding food somewhere. You know what I mean? Because even then, before I even knew who God was, he was taking care of me and I couldn't see it then, but I look at it now, all the blessings I even had when I was homeless, when I was homeless with my kids, God was blessing me. God was blessing me. And I didn't know it at the time, um, but I just look back on that. So I think even with those experiences of literally having nothing, literally not having a dollar in my pocket, but having been able to come across food by people giving me food, offering me food and things, um, you know, even offering me a hug. I remember one time uh, when this lady just was like, can I just give you a hug and pray for you? Um, and I was like, sure. But I look back and I know that now that comfort came from the Lord. Um, and thinking about it, God, God provides for the birds and the animals. Like, they don't worry about where they're going to get their next meal. Um, and so our God is an amazing God. Our God is a God of miracles, right? Um, and so like not to be focused on these worldly things because the world will want us to believe that we don't have enough. The world will want us to be want us to believe um, that we don't measure up to some kind of societal standard, right? Um, you know, it, but if we take our eyes off what the world says, right? We will have enough. God's love is sufficient enough. God loves provides wherever God guides, God provides. And honestly, worrying, all that will do is open up torment from the enemy to come in, right? All that will do is instill fear and doubt and anxiety and all of these things. And when we can just pray, okay, God, I'm trusting in you. 
and maybe it sounds a lot easier than done, but with repetition, prayer and repetition, it comes natural. It comes normal and you focus more of your time on prayer and praising God and in less time focusing on where the next meal is going to come, right? Even in a pandemic, even in storms, we can praise God because we know God is going to take care of us. Believe me, take it from somebody who literally had nothing, whose life was like, I didn't care if I lived or died to God giving me, God is sufficient. Now, I don't, I don't seek out like the riches and the gold and all of these things. I seek out my father because that is like invaluable. Nothing in this world, money, none of that compares to what our loving father is for us. The Holy Spirit, that's priceless. There's not a price for that. Jesus, his sacrifice, there's not a price that can ever compare. Um, so I just encourage you to read, um, Luke 12, the whole, the whole one. I'm, I'm reading through it right now. Luke 12, I'm, I'm going through it. I got a new Bible. I really love this one. It's really thin. I can take it with me. Super cute. I love this Bible. I really do. Um, and so I just got it the other day. Um, so, and I'm, I'm going through it, you know, my other Bibles, I love those too. Um, I just needed one that I could carry with me and be slick and nice. And, um, yeah, I really, really like it. It's an NIV. It's very, um, it's, I like it. It's just cool. So, um, yeah, just, I, I encourage you to read Luke 12, that whole chapter right there. It's just so, so much that where you can really just dive in and just dissect and just, and see that. God, God really loves us, man. God loves us. And I love this because it has the red letters. So like I can just really focus on what um, Jesus was saying. It's so good. I love it. Um, but yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't worry for nothing. God, in these scriptures, God's word says, do not worry because God is going to take care of you. God will and can and delights in providing for you. Um, so don't let these circumstances, don't let the world tell you that you don't have enough because God's love is sufficient. God is enough and he always provides. So I'm going to close this on prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And I just thank you for your word, God. I thank you for your word and that you always take care of us, Lord. That you never leave us wanting or needing. You are sufficient, God. So I'm asking right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, anybody that is watching this, Lord, I just pray that you give them peace and comfort. I come against any anxiety. I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. Any fear, doubt, um, I come against the enemy that would try and come against anybody that's watching this. I take authority over you. And I just, I pray, Father, for your peace and your um, comfort and your love to overwhelm them right now in the name of Jesus. You are bigger than any of their circumstance. Anything that's going on in their life, you are bigger, God. So I just pray, Father, that you meet them where they're at. Whatever they feel like they're lacking, Lord, just show up their life, God. Bless them, Lord. And I just praise you and I honor you, God, for what you're going to do in this this person's life. Whoever is watching this, I just praise you, God, for what you have done in their life and what you're about to do in their life, God. I give you all the honor and glory. Um, and we just surrender. We trust. We yield to you, God. We put the trust in you. We, we put the worry at your feet and we hold on to the trust that you will, can, and always provide, Lord. We give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you have a great day. I encourage you to not worry. Um, put your trust in God. If you have any prayer requests, leave it in the comments and I would be happy to pray for you. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great day. Be kind to yourselves. I love you and I'll see you next Sunday.